sad with, and the film is Coming Through the Rye. Coming Through the Rye is set in 1969, and it's about a young boy who's out of sorts at his elite boarding school, and basically reads The Catcher in the Rye, falls in love with it, and feels like he's destined to play Holden Caulfield in the movies and in the theater, so he adapts the book as a stage play, and then after a series of hostile incidents with the kids at school, he runs away with a local town girl to look for J.D. Salinger. First of all, he spoke in a voice that you hadn't read before, especially a book you were assigned to read. But in 69, that, I mean, nobody wrote characters that talked like that unless your father bought them under the shelf at a drugstore. But he talked the way we talked, and he felt the way I felt because he was in boarding school, he thought everybody's a phony. I thought at, by that point everybody was a phony and uh, they'd been corrupted by the machine and uh, had become cynical and it just spoke to me and I wish I'd had, I, at the time when I read it, I, was, you know, I thought, man, that's what I should do, I should run away and just get the hell out of here. <music> I'd always wanted to do a feature film, my career was in television. I, for 30 years, I wrote and directed TV movies, miniseries, drama pilots. And I decided, you know, if I'm ever going to do a feature, now's the time. That was in 2012. So I sat down, took a year to write the whole thing as a book. And then I finished looking at it, and my wife looked at it, and she said, you're a screenwriter, you're not a novelist. So I adapted the book as a screenplay. And 2014, started to raise money to make it as a movie. <laughs> When we had our premiere, we premiered at the Heartland Film Festival on October 25th, and I walked into the theater, and I thought to myself, how am I gonna watch this movie one more time? I think I might throw up. Because, you know, how many hundreds and hundreds of times have you seen it on a monitor or, you know, your laptop? But as soon as it went up on the big screen, first time I'd seen it on a screen, a theatrical screen, and heard it with the audience, I fell in love with the movie. And I've now seen it about 20 times on the big screen with audiences in the various festivals we've been in. So sometimes you screen three times like this festival. I haven't left yet. I mean, I find something every time that's new or I say, well, I can't believe Alex did this or wow, I can't believe she did this. I, I still love it. <laughs>